Imagine if the heart of our planet, a liquid iron engine the size of Pluto, began to cool and solidify. This would not be an apocalypse of fire, but one of icy, deathly silence. With it, our invisible shield, the geomagnetic field that defends us from the sun's relentless fury, would vanish in a matter of centuries, leaving Earth naked and vulnerable. The first victims would not be human, migratory birds and whales, disoriented without their internal compass, would get lost in the oceans and fall from the sky. The auroras, in a last, spectacular death throes, would dance across the globe to the equator before being extinguished forever. Our technology would be the next to fall, power grids would collapse under unfiltered solar storms, satellites would be fried in their orbits, and surface radiation would rise to levels lethal to life. Then, the solar wind, a torrent of particles traveling at more than 2 million kilometers per hour, would begin to strip away our atmosphere, molecule by molecule. The sky would thin, turning from a pale blue to a perpetual reddish twilight. Atmospheric pressure would plummet until our oceans, the cradle of life, began to boil and slowly evaporate into the void. But the agony would be twofold. On the surface, Earth's geological heartbeat, plate tectonics, would stop. Volcanoes, crucial for recycling carbon and regulating the climate, would shut down one by one. Earthquakes would cease, plunging the planet into a deathly calm, the calm of death. Without the internal heat that generates new mountains, erosion would reduce them to dust over eons, leaving a smooth, featureless world. In 100,000 years, Earth would be a silent, radioactive, frozen orb, a blue jewel turned into a barren relic, a reddish desert like Mars, but without its history. Terrifying proof that life on our planet depends not only on sunlight, but on the fiery inferno that roars and protects us beneath our feet.